Welcome to the Mentally Stronger podcast, the podcast where with every episode, we're learning practical ways to let go of stress and struggles, grow our mental strength, and live a happier, healthier, more meaningful life. I'm your host, Millie O'Brien, co-founder of mindfulness.com and creator of the Deep Resilience Method. I'm so glad to have you here with me today. Let's dive in to today's episode. You know, we make a lot of decisions every day. And these decisions are what determine the direction and the quality of our lives. Some decisions are little and some decisions are completely life-altering. Tony Robbins says, you know, it's in your moments of decision that your destiny is shaped. In less than a second, a simple yes or no can change everything. The decisions you make steer the course of your life at each little juncture. And that's why today I'm going to share with you an incredible tool, one of my personal favorite tools that you can use on the go in your life for making big and little decisions in the best way possible, both wise and really smart decisions. I'm just going to give you a little bit of context about why this practice is so powerful. Did you know that you have 100 million neurons in your intestines? Yes, neurons. The gut is now being referred to by many scientists as the gut brain. Your heart, in addition to its other functions, also acts as a heart brain. It is made up of about 40,000 neurons, all of which can sense, feel, learn, and remember. Yes, that's right. We have three brains and they all communicate together at any given point in time. The more official names are the cephalic brain, that's the one in your head, (laughs) the cardiac brain, that's the one in your heart, and the enteric brain, that's the one in your gut. Each of these three organs has complex neural networks and is able to store and process information, and each of them has the capacity for neuroplasticity. Now, many ancient wisdom teachings have put great emphasis on listening to and following the wisdom of the heart and the intuitions, the gut feelings that we have, as well as acknowledging the intellect. But in our modern society, you know, the The latter two have been dismissed for a very long time, but in recent years, technology and neuroscience have backed up what these wisdom teachings were saying. So we now know that our bodies have not one, but three brains, and each of these has a different way of knowing. We have three intelligences. So when it comes to making important decisions in our lives, We want to check in with all three of these kinds of intelligences that we have access to so that we can make better decisions. We can use the intelligence, the wisdom, and the intuition of our three brains to make our best decisions. And we can do that through this practice. It's a mini meditation, if you will, and it's called the Head Heart Gut Check In. Now, I'm just going to talk you through the steps of the head, heart, gut check in, but then I'm actually going to guide you through a practice. I'm going to guide you through a mini meditation of this, but I also want you to know I am going to link in the show notes of this podcast a version of the head, heart, gut check in that you can use anytime you want. So you can come back to this practice over and over again, and it'll be there for you in your moments of decision. That's free, by the way. This is not something you need to buy. It's just something I'm providing for you to help you out. So here are the five steps of the head, heart, gut check-in. So the first step is you just center yourself by taking a couple of deep, slow breaths. And that's a way of kind of just gathering your awareness into the present moment. And then the second step is you bring awareness to your head. And with your awareness at your head, you simply acknowledge what kinds of thoughts you've been having 
in relation to the current situation. And then step three, you drop awareness down into the heart. You might even like to place a hand over the heart as you do this and you take a moment to tune into what values you have in the situation. You know, what, what are your values? What do you care about most deeply? Is it family? Is it kindness? Is it courage? Is it understanding? What is your highest intention or what values do you have in this situation? What do you care about? And then the next step is you drop awareness down into the gut and you tune into any hunches, intuitions, or emotions that are related to the current decision or situation you're trying to resolve. So you kind of tune in, you take some time at each of these three intelligences, acknowledging them. And then the last step is you kind of collect all of that information and you're present with it. And you take a deep conscious breath and mentally ask yourself the question, okay, what shall I do now? What's the decision? And then you listen for the answer. Okay, so let's give it a try now. So I want you to just begin by thinking of a decision you need to make or something that you've been confused about in your life. Okay. So just beginning now by taking three deep, slow, mindful breaths as a way of kind of gathering your attention to the present moment. A deep breath in. Long, steady breath out. That's it. Another breath in, really filling the lungs with air on the inhale. And breathing out. One more time in. And now. And just relaxing any kind of control of the breath now. Just let the body breathe in its own natural way and bringing your attention to the head. And noticing or acknowledging, you know, what kinds of thoughts have been coming up in relation to this current situation or choice that needs to be made. Now, as you're breathing out, just allowing awareness to drop down into the heart area. You might like to place a hand over the center of your chest. Just taking a moment to acknowledge what values you have in this situation. Values are qualities like kindness, courage, honesty, integrity. So just tuning into what your values are and also what your deepest intention is for this situation, what matters most to you. And at the end of the next exhale, just dropping awareness down into the gut. And you might like to place a hand or both hands over the abdomen area. And just acknowledging any hunches, any intuitions or emotions that might be present in relation to this current choice that needs to be made. You know, often there's that feeling that we already know the answer deep down. And then as you take the next exhale, it's having a sense of collecting all of this information and mentally asking yourself the question, what shall I do now? And just listening for any answers that come. So 
So I hope that was helpful for you. Maybe you got some kind of really helpful insight from this practice or maybe not. So don't worry if you don't have some kind of really clear answer right away. That's not a problem. You can repeat this practice as many times as you'd like to or need to using the free meditation in the show notes. And once you get familiar with these steps, the head, heart, gut check-in can be done in as little as 30 seconds when you're just on the go in your life and you need to make a decision pretty quickly, you're under pressure, or you can take some more time to do a longer version that can take up to five or even 10 minutes when you have more time or perhaps you're facing really hard choices. We often rely way too much on spinning things around in our heads and ignoring the other domains of our being, the domains of wisdom and also the domains of checking in with our most dearly held values. But by using this practice in your moments of decision, you'll be able to make more integrated, more empowered, and more wise choices. May this practice be an ally for you in the times when you need it the most. It certainly has been for me. So for this week, your mental strength practice is to try to use the head, heart, gut check-in process at least one time. It can be done with a really small decision or a big one. But just try it out. Try to get familiar with it and then see what effect it has in your life. If it's helpful for you, you keep it in your mental strength toolkit going forward in your life and it will continue to be a source of support and strength for all of your hard decisions going forward. So wishing you a wonderful week of practice with this. I hope it goes well. I hope you reap some benefits from it and I really look forward to being with you again soon. Until then, take care and stay strong. If you know someone who you think might benefit from listening to this episode, share it with them. Sharing it could really help them to feel better and improve the quality of their life. And if you found this episode helpful, remember to subscribe to the podcast so that you can receive more tips on growing your mental strength and you can keep practicing along with us every week. If you are wanting more support in becoming mentally stronger, come over to my website and take a look at all the coaching and training options that I have there for you. And I also have a bunch of free resources, including a five-day mental strength challenge that you can begin right away to kickstart your mental strength, improve your mental well-being, as well as your happiness and resilience. You can find all the links for this in the show notes. Thanks again for tuning in. Take care and stay strong. <laughs>